Hello everyone, Mark from Southern Cross Amateur Astro here and we continue our look at the Gemini EAF uh, which in the last video we unboxed it, uh, fitted it to a telescope and installed the drivers and did an initial setup. In this one I'm going to show you how to connect it into your imaging software. In my case I use Astrophotography tool, APT, so I'll go in and show you how to connect it uh, configure it in APT and hopefully you'll be able to get an automatic focusing run done that'll give a reasonable result the first time around. So let's get straight into it. Okay now that we've got all the gear equipment the initial setups done it's time to set it up in APT and see how we go with an autofocus run. So first of all I'm going to connect the focuser so I'll hold down shift and click on connect then I need to go to Gemini Focus at Pro. Now in the properties, make sure everything in there is what we need. Yep, they're the same settings we had elsewhere, so OK on that. OK. And the focuser is connected. So we're at position zero at the moment. It's going to be well out of focus. Um, I know my ZWA was about 5,000 steps for focus so I'm going to set this up to go to 4,000 because I know the steps in this are bigger so I'm going to go for this and hopefully that'll be about where we need to be so what I'm going to do now is turn on live view and it's taking an, an image every couple of seconds. Oh, definitely out of focus there. As you see, it's getting closer and closer. I might be able to do them as one second. Okay. Well, actually, that doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Not bad for a guess. So I'm actually going to start my autofocus run. No, I'll just get out... Um, focus aid first and we'll take a look I wonder if I can get that a little closer I might go in by 50 steps and see how that goes Oh, that's a little bit better. Uh, I haven't got guiding on, so... Okay, well that doesn't look... Oh, it's the stop guiding. I don't want guiding at the moment. Okay, so that looks reasonable, the star looks reasonably in focus, there's a place to start, that's all I was looking for, somewhere to start an autofocus run. So first of all I need to turn on focus craft, alt A to bring up this, I'm going to use half flux diameter, now to go into the settings. Um, used to be 3.1 was the settings I used to use for my ZWA but this one I've done the measuring it's 4.4 so okay with that so it stops down to 36 nothing else I need to change in there at the moment so I'm just going to hit OK and now I'm going to run oh, I better turn off live view first uh, reset stats and run autofocus aid. So we just got to go through. This is going to be 11 images, pretty quick, only short images. As it goes through here, we'll see what happens. Yeah. Dropped it out of focus. Um, this was going to take a few minutes so we'll just let it run through 
Let's see how far we can get. Let's see how difficult it is to get this set up. It's getting in there. So this is just with the calculated by APT, the, the step size that it's going to use. So it's not looking too bad at the moment. It's not the best of conditions outside. There's a few clouds still floating around. I might have been able to get some imaging in tonight, but that didn't happen. So this is looking like a reasonable curve. Not bad on the first go. I'm quite happy with it. As long as it keeps working. Yeah, pretty sharp V at the bottom, but should still produce a pretty good curve. But as you can see, it's not that hard to get this set up and running in APT. Now I've got to have a word to Ivo, something I've noticed. I've just started using an off-axis guider and I set it not to to pause the guiding while its uh, focus is moving. Oh, that was an odd one dropped out there on the bottom down there. And uh, it seems that every time it finishes focusing or anything really, it starts the guiding. I don't know what those two have dropped down so low there for. Supposed to be getting worse, not better. A 3938, so it wasn't far off when I went to 4000. So we'll see what the stars look like once it's done. Oh, well, yeah, that's looking actually quite good at the moment. Yep, the stars look nice and round, nice and sharp. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that result. Uh, so I'm going to turn off calculate in that. Give it, a, and that's it. That's how you set it up in APT, and it's done. Um, like I said, you just if you don't have an idea where to start with start live view and then start moving it out in you know, maybe a thousand at a time so just you know set this to a hundred and click the thousand steps and just take it out a bit at a time and just watch your live view and you'll see when it's getting close to being in focus and then you can tune it in and run focus aid oh, that guiding's not very good but then again it is technically after Astro Night's finished so okay well I'm going to leave this here I won't annoy you with my talking anymore um, just like to wish you all very clear skies and I'll chat to you in another video take care all